Stupid shit girls think with self defense. Yeah. That. Stupid shit girls think with self defense. Yeah, that we'll go with that. I had to get a chick to come in here so we can say offensive things about women. It makes it like less offensive. Kinda, a little bit. If you say it. Guys say some dumb shit about self defense too. They just say different dumb shit. In this video, we're gonna tell you the five things that we still kind of hear repeated by women in regards to self defense. You should probably watch this with your wife, girlfriend, or whatever. Um, and we're gonna show you five things you should do instead. If I'm in a crowded area and I wear my purse like this, then someone can't grab it from me. Yeah, no, that's, that's really dumb. And we tried to touch on it a little in the stun gun video. Remember, you had it like this and it got tangled up. <laughs> now I'm just snatching you. I've got you. Hmm. This doesn't make any sense because there's nothing in here that's that important. Instead, if you must carry a purse, you carry it like this, and then if someone tries to snatch it, they just snatch it. This is dumb. I, I can't even believe this still gets repeated. It really is. It really is dumb. But it just kind of shows you how ignorant people are about this thing. They're not just... fighting over a bag. If I hold my keys just like this, then I can use this as a weapon. You go. What, you're gonna punch somebody with I'm that? I'm gonna jab your eyes out. Yeah. Ow. If you got it perfectly, super straight, dead on, and it was perfectly perpendicular, and there was no play either, way, either way, sorry, and it went straight into my eye, sure, devastating. But if you can't land a jab in a boxing match, so say we're boxing, and your goal is to land a jab to my nose or chin, and you do not possess the training or skills to do that, why do you think you can have, you have the ability to get this into an even smaller target when under a great um, amount of stress. Wow, <clears throat> that's crazy. <laughs> what? I just think that's crazy. That people think that? Well, when you broke it down, it's like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, uh, you need to have your keys prepped to get into your car. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's do point number three. If I'm on the phone with someone, then if someone attacks me, then I can tell them information. I don't know. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. You do that. I actually called Mike one time where... Yeah, you call me and say, stay on the phone with me. Yeah. Because it's super sketchy where I'm walking through. Yeah. I don't know. What am I going to do? Oh man, that's terrible. The sounds of you getting brutally assaulted. No one's going to get there in time to help. I can't get there in time to help. The police can't get there in time to help. Let's make sure that I have less hearing. I need at least one of my hands tied up. I need extra steps if I want to dial 911. Yeah, your key should be in your hand if you needed to unlock your door, but not as a weapon, because what this should be, this should be a really quick process. I should be able to do this really fast and have this whole process down. I hit lock. You should know where all your controls and stuff are because what's the first thing you do when you get in the car? No, what is it? Oh, um, I get in, shut the door, immediately lock my door. Cool. That's what we covered there. Then what's the next thing you do every oh, time you get in the I get car? on my phone. For? It seems like a couple of seconds. It's probably like two minutes. For a while. Where you're going to get hemmed up is getting into or out of your car. Crank up and go. Yeah. Not check your Instagram to see how many people liked your picture of squash spaghetti. I was gonna say spaghetti squash. Yeah, or whatever it is. That shit can wait. That was my latest recipe. Crank up and go. I'll just kick him in the balls. Yeah, women say that. Like, I'll just blank him in the blank. Like, it's gonna be, like, super easy. Kristen, give me, like, a, not a, any kind of real kick, but just, like, the kick to the balls kick. Boom. Hard as you can. No. Why'd you pull it back? Why are you pulling it back? I don't feel like I am. You're pulling your kick back. Kick hard. You're pulling it back. You know why she's pulling it back? Because she's afraid to hurt her fucking foot. Right? Because... True. So, because she probably will. She's not built up the technique or the requisite bone density to effectively kick someone hard enough to disable them. Now you think, well, in the moment of passion... Yes, adrenaline. Yeah, adrenaline. Fight or flight or yeah. whatever. Yeah, so here's what adrenaline does to you. It turns your legs to jello makes you uncoordinated, you will probably fall over. Not me. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna fall over. Right, It's I... my life. I'm gonna kick the shit out of his balls. Nope, you do not rise to the occasion. You will fall to your level of training. <laughs> what if I... I'm not afraid to fight a man. 
Yeah, that's really dumb. Yeah, you probably should be. Everyone's got this woman on their Facebook feed <laughs> that says things like, Today is not the day. <laughs> today is not the day. And I am not the and one. And I am not the one. Like, yeah. Karen, you're not going to do shit. You ain't doing shit. Let me tell you about what your, uh, your moxie, you know what moxie is? No. You know what a chutzpah is? No. Okay. What's your attitude, your, your brazenness, your, your, your this thing. <laughs> what? You're not protected by your attitude. You're not protected by your moxie. The reason you've been in men's face so many times and they've backed down is because of cultural norms and traditions and their own morals. They aren't supposed to hit a girl. What happens is they run into a guy that doesn't feel that way. Instead of just assuming that the fact that you're willing to fight a man means you're able to fight a man, you should seek training, real training in fighting, not self-defense class, not bullshit where it's like, hey, you know, grab my wrist and then I'm going to do like some self-defense move. I'm talking about learning how to fight. While you're learning to punch, kick and slam people on the ground, you're getting punched, kicked and slammed on the ground and learning how to deal with that. Because when we talk about a man fighting a woman, I say this all the time, it's super unpopular. We are not, realistically speaking, talking about the woman defeating the man in combat. We're talking about her buying time. The problem is that people don't like to hear that they're not good at shit that they think they should be. True. And fighting for whatever reason is one of two things that people automatically assume they're good at, despite having no training or experience in. It's actually crazy uh, that we're doing this video because I don't know, I just, I never thought about it. I never thought about that. Like, well, because you can get one little piece of information and it makes you feel like, okay, I've got that covered keys in the hand. When we did the taser video, I had the taser in my hand yeah. and like, I could not tase you. Yeah. I tased myself. I thought that was crazy. And I have a little bit of like knowledge on. Yeah. You're time. at least comfortable. Yeah. So the average person who doesn't have any kind of experience what? to think that they could defeat someone who was coming to attack them is just nuts to me. That's, That's why I talked about cow tipping. Cow tipping is one of those things that we hear repeated and it, cow tipping. Like pushing a cow over? Yeah, the cow's asleep, you walk over, you push it over because they sleep standing up. People go out and do it at night. But why? The thing is they don't because they don't sleep standing up and you can't just push them over. They don't sleep standing up? No, that's just the thing that gets repeated. Really? And everyone's like, yeah, I used to go cow tipping. That's how you know that person's full of Wait, shit. Wait, are you sure? Wait, seriously? <laughs> I really thought that was a real thing. No.